the something guys it is Mike from MikeKim.com and Elevate Edge AI. First of all, as you pretty guessed, if you have been following it, I was trying to do 30 days and every day of that was going to be a build. So a code build, so it's going to be a tool or anything that was AI related. Now, in hindsight, it was really stupid trying to do a build every single day on top of actually working, <laughs> running two businesses. So I've scrapped that idea. It's not worth it. So I found something more fun anyway. So with Relevant AI, they have a flagship agent. It's actually seven agents, a team, a swarm, right? And it does constant outbound sales and constant inbound sales by email. It does research. Yeah, they have a lot of integrations with it and we are basically make it without paying for it if that makes sense so we're going to use relevance we're going to backwards engineer what with the information that we have like the seven agent swarm they have then we're going to try and make it better then we're going to add voice to it so it'll definitely be better because they'll be doing outbound calls and we'll be able to answer inbound calls as well and yeah it's bosh the name of it is bosh well, I'm not on my computer. All right, guys, we are back in the computer the next day. I didn't have time yesterday. So it's time to do research and planning. This bit is probably going to be the longest bit out of everything because once we have everything figured out, then we just need to build it. And it's, it's so easy to build in relevance once you know what you're building. So I'll load the websites up. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna, like, it's probably gonna take me at least two hours, three hours to plan this out. Okay. Uh, and then I'll probably give it to somebody else to help me. Um, so that's the plan. I'll give you the highlights, any good bits I find. Um, but just to show you the setup, I'll be using, oh yeah, so we're calling it Posh instead of Bosch. Posh Beats Boss. Bosh. And tell me what you want. Single to reference. Right, okay. There you go. Done. You can snap the screens, basically. Right, okay. So this is how we've got set up. We have got Claude, of course. We've got, I need to, this is the list of names. Uh, We've got all their information on their website, which is a, a lot. I've gone through it again and it basically tells you everything. Because like if you have inbound here, they have the whole approach they have. Using both internal CRMs and external sources, so Google search and LinkedIn search, Bosch researches the prospects in detail. I've already got that tool built out myself. I put it on this channel, that tool. They probably took it off me and built, built Bosch. Categorize. Analyze the prospects to determine a fit. So this would be the lead, lead scoring part and um, qualification, basically, because if they're using something like the Apollo API, then it's really difficult. It's, it's an awful API. It's really difficult to get the right people. So you just get a lot of people and then filter them, which is how I'm going to build it anyway. Um, f formulate a value prop. Yeah. Then we get to outreach. So this will be the email sequences in Gmail. So from my Gmail accounts. Now I asked them how many emails I was sending per account. And they had a setup of, I think they said either three, which would be normal, or five users per domain. And they were sending like how you would send with like Blemlist or Apollo or that one that begins with I. Um, and I was quite surprised by that and they hadn't had any issues with it and they're all brand new domains. I, don't, I think he said they didn't even warm, warm them up, but we're not going to do that because ours are going to be better than theirs and we know, we know better. So we'll be warming up our domains and we're not going to do this as, at a massive scale anyway. So, uh, right. Books the meetings. So this is what we're going to have to have, have to have the calendar synced with the agent. That bit is gonna be, it would probably be easy, but I, I can't think of it just in my head how to do it. Like all the other bits I can, I just know how to, in my head I know how to do all of this. But in relevance, 
linking it. I suppose it would be a tool or it would be an API call to a tool to create event and then the input would be the date they've said. That'd be really basic though. We would have to return information as well. I'll have a look at Closebot because that's, that's, that's what they do really, really well. So I'll see how they do it because you can see all the logs. Um, okay, then it logs the activity. So that is their inbound. One, two, three, four, five, six steps. Outbound is one, two, three, four, five steps. And then they have database farming, one, two, three, four, five. So database farming is, is obviously just getting loads and loads of leads, I'm assuming. That's what it is. Using both internal CRM and external sources, researches prospects, enriches them, figures out a value prop, books in a meeting. Yeah, so that's just that's just like pure cold outbound sales. Uh, so they so they split that up, which is interesting, away from the outbound agent. So they're doing something different between the two. So the outbound is going to be probably more personalised and um, with more targeted lists. And this is just going to be like shotgun approach, I'm guessing. Although I don't see why they would do that. Right, inbound. Okay, um, let's get these out on here. So I will pause the video for a bit and I'm going to get this information onto Myro. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with their what they've got here. It's not really a, a build framework because one of those categories might be like two agents one of them might not even be an agent they've just made it look simple they are i'm building it out the same framework they've got but i've given it the name prospecting kitchen instead of database farming i think it sounds better uh yeah don't don't get the beta new mac os it's not even remotely ready for even beta everything breaks Right, I'm going to do all of this. Then once I've got this information done, then we can start doing our build. Now, just on a note of agents in general, this is what you would do. So if you had this as one agent, I mean, this is how I do it. This is just one agent. And then you basically have its tasks like in a map like this. And then off of that, you'll have a list of tools separately a list of prompts separate um, and then you would essentially join them all together like a big spider spider web because what you have to remember with relevance and their agents is the, the tools can be a prompt you, you can you can just have one really good one prompt as a tool and and that's how you build like good agents really in my opinion is when you're using tools that, just have like one custom API and not, when I say custom, I mean, they like not one they have on their website and prompt chains, individual prompts. Um, because when you start using like the bigger tools that you build, it messes it up a little bit. Like they can't be too big. Basically, the more I go through the way they build this out, I swear they've used, taken my tools because I've got, well, I only just built this one, so maybe not. But I've got one for this, which has this built into it. And then the ICP tool that I've got is this one. No, they, they haven't. They haven't. This is a thought that went through my mind. All right, guys, I am going to finish the video in two seconds, uh, purely because I need to stop work. Um, I've gotten pretty far, so I've gotten a couple of key differentiators to Relevance's bot, uh, which are killer in my opinion. And I have listed out pretty much all of the APIs we need. And then we need to uh, then get the prompts, the knowledge from the client, which we'll have to just make up for this one, uh, unless anyone wants to volunteer. And then a brief strategy just so everyone knows what's happening. So I've gone, I've just done the outbound side of things. So we've kept this same, this discovery bit, but I think I've added in a bit more where we've got the, uh, we've got the Google business, this Google ads business API. Uh, we've got the, and the meta business API. That's purely to get 
information for about their customers about their what they post and things like that um so yeah we can get some data from this with the meta api it's much more for the accounts you manage um and you do that with google as well but with google you can get a lot broader information just around a market um you can do that with facebook as well though kind of you can get some insights so we have the insights api which has breakdowns, estimated and in development, limit and best practices, checking and conversion specs, marketing mix modeling, conversion lift measurement. These aren't endpoints. I don't read them. Yeah, yeah, that's actually on an ad account. So uh, that will probably be done on, you can just do it on your own account and still get information. So I'll link it to, because uh, I have an app in Meta, so I can access all of this. So I'll link that via API to relevance, and then it'll be able to use all the endpoints in here once it's set up properly, which is long. So there is, yeah, there's a lot of insights we can get from here. Um, just take a look around. They've got the marketing API, but they do have a more general API. So just have a look through the documents and make an app, basically. Uh, so yeah, you have these platforms. Oh, this, okay, here we go. So, uh, business tools, social integrations. Yeah, you can get you can just get a lot of data from here. So we've got that, and then we have the ManyChat API. We have uh, the Vapi API, which they haven't got. I assume they use the Apollo API for enrichment. Um, I don't, yeah, I assume they, they do. I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, and then I've got the hunter.io for enrichment. And then I might use another enrichment API, depends on the, the how good the results are. I'll just use one from Clay. If you go on clay.com and you can just see all their providers and just use a few of them in your relevance project and you'll pay a quarter of the price of what you would pay for Clay. So. There's a little tip for you. Right, okay, so that's the discovery part of it. Then we go into creating value props. Now, the first differentiator we have here is we're gonna take more of a account-based sales approach. So that's when we have, we're not outreaching to one key decision maker within a company. We're the strategy and the, and the way we interact with people we do it in a way that we interact with multiple people within the business that are all decision makers in, in their own right. And then there'll be one, one will obviously be the key, we'd probably be the CEO, but then we'll, in, we'll be interacting with like the CTO, the CEO, the VP of product and building relationships with them. This is account-based marketing, this is account-based sales. And it's typically really difficult to do in real life unless you're like a proper sales agency because it's so expensive and very, very long. But these are agents, so why not take why not take advantage of it? Um, so yeah, they build so they basically build relationships with the lower lower people. Then they the, like once you've got like two or three of them, they will say to the CEO, "We should get or well, we should hire these guys." And the CEO has already been speaking to us, so it's like a full circle thing. And then it's like also based on a bit of psychology where everyone kind of agrees because they've all been having the same experience. Anyway. That is the first key different uh, key differentiator. Then we go, and then that pop link that just goes straight. Then we just have more leads, and we get them from the research part when we're researching their company. And we use the Apollo API or the LinkedIn API. It's super easy. Um, then we basically get a lot of customized messaging um, based on every uh, every lead will be customized. Uh, then that goes then into outreach. So I don't know what they do here because it just says create a value prop, but we'll be creating completely customized DMs, completely customized email sequences, completely customized email replies, uh, and object like objection handling sales stuff, like objection handling pitches, um, different approaches, like different approaches to pit to pitching to a certain type of lead. Uh, and one thing I also forgot to mention is we're going to be t uh, tiering the leads. So we'll have tier one, tier two, tier three. Uh, the tier three leads are least important, tier one are most important. So tier one will have more follow-up, will have higher quality um, 
uh, like a higher quality outreach to them, if that makes sense. And then tier two is in the middle of that. So tier based approach and account based marketing approach as well. So we're really splitting it out and taking advantage of the fact that we don't have to have loads of people. Uh, and then off of that, we then send the email, we then follow up with the AI uh, VAPI call, and then we get them on many chat with the DMs basically. So uh, omni-channel, account-based, tier-based, and that is will be the outbound. Um, booking in the meeting, this might change a little bit because yeah, the, the the end result might not be might not be to book a meeting. I'm not I'm not 100 decided on it yet. It probably will, but I kind of want to test something different. Does that make sense? Like maybe build an email list. I don't know. There could be a different approach to it. I could complicate it more. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'll, I I will probably keep keep it as this, but I might change it. Anyway, uh, that is it for this part. This, I've realised this is probably going to be about five parts. Till we have everything up and running maybe six parts uh the next bits in the next episode we'll be going over the strategy brief which i've kind of just gone over anyway uh prompting and creating the tools that we actually need so that'll be super valuable um and the knowledge that we need from the client because i know uh what what we need from them um so i'm going to list that out and then that will help anybody that is doing sales stuff like if they're selling AI solutions to salespeople, this this will be the this will be the information you're going to want to get off them. Uh, so yeah, that'll be in the next episode. Then the final episode, not the final episode. Then after that, we'll be going on to the uh, prospecting kitchen, which is where we're just creating leads. I'm not even 100 sure about having 100 sure about having this as a separate thing. I mean, I don't see why that can't be part of outbound unless it depends, it depends on the volume. You would have this if if well depending on the size of the client, basically. You would have this, if they're a large, much larger client and they need a thousand leads a day or something, so, or more. All right, that's it. And if you want a copy of this Miro board, I don't mind sending it, um, like a view only, if you want it, like whilst I build it out. And I'll catch you in the next one.